Hey Familia Ignan here, let's talk about the March 27th Shatterverse update. Yes, Steel Rebellion is launching, but Shatterverse is also going through a pretty major content update uh, with this patch as well, so let's go over it. Uh, if I'm a little bit slow uh, or stuttery or can't get my thoughts together, forgive me, it is almost 2 a.m. I'm very tired, I was working on a special video that I think you guys are going to enjoy. Keep an eye out for that tomorrow. Anyway, Steel Rebellion coming out, of course. New leader cards, Filene and Oz. I'll talk about the Oz alt art in the next card review video. Uh, new story mode chapters for Luna and Urias in the Gears of Rebellion story mode. Uh, it's going to be pretty dicey for me to get the story mode playthroughs done, considering I'm flying off soon overseas. Hopefully I can record some videos on a laptop. Well, here's hoping. Category option for flares and emblems. You can now search flares and emblems by category. That's a nice little quality of life. Increase, advanced search option for cards. Also a very nice quality of life increase, dig that. New background themes in multiplayer, background themes from the Guild War chapters are added to multiplayer. Awesome! Uh, everybody was asking for that as well, so that's really nice. And here's what really caught my eye. Guild mode, a new feature where you can create or join a guild will be added. In guild, you can chat, share decks and replays uh, and play private matches with guild members. Been so excited for this ever since I heard about it. Um, I've been asking him for a guild mode for ages, and finally it's happening. Definitely join the Familia Guild. As soon as this feature is out, I'm making a Familia Guild. Uh, all are welcome, and I might do a series where I react to replays. And that might be really fun as well. Have like a new level of community interaction there. Really hyped for that. Of course, in Take 2, uh, the sets in Take 2 are going to change once the Rebellion comes out. Remember, Take 2 is on a rotation of four sets. So with the, the new set, uh, it's just Brigade of the Sky, Omen, Ultra Sphere, and Steel Rebellion. And the tutorial rewards are also different. Yada yada, that's more of a new player thing. Minor changes to card text. The cards aren't uh, going to change how they work, but I guess... Treasure chest to play issue, captivating conductor bug as well. Fixed. Spell boost display issue also fixed. Twilight Queen's effect issue also fixed. Okay. They didn't really list which minor card text changes there are. That's fine, I guess. Uh, I assume it's just for clarity. And then, yeah, a bunch of small bug fixes here. Additionally, they're also migrating from 2017 Unity to 2018 Unity, so keep in mind that some older devices and some older OSs may not be able to support that. Uh, but the big, big news with this update, other than, of course, Steel Rebellion coming out, are the card changes. Ten Whole cards are being changed. Let's talk about it. Abyss Summoner getting nerfed from 7 to 8 play points. Arya and Gremory being unrestricted and unlimited. Arthur getting unnerfed as it rotates out. Lion of the Golden City getting unnerfed. Noah and DSX Machina. Well, I guess Noah getting unnerfed as it rotates out. And DSX Machina getting buffed as it rotates out. Felice getting unnerfed. Ouroboros getting unnerfed. And Spawn of the Abyss getting unnerfed. So it seems to me that they're making unlimited a lot more open here. Which I'm glad about, actually. You know, get some more diversity of decks in the format. Have it, uh, have players be able to relive their old decks. I think that's a good thing, especially since you know, generally, if a card doesn't see any play in the format in unlimited, then unnerfing it or buffing it, uh, I can get behind that decision. Uh, so, Lion of the Golden City. Maybe this will make Neutral Havencraft an actual factor in unlimited. Same thing with this bringing Neutral. Runecraft back, which I'm pretty happy about because Neutral Runecraft was how I laddered during Wonderland Dreams. And uh, this is degenerate, but, <laughs> but you know, maybe it'll be played now in Unlimited again. Same thing. Uh, at least Unlimited has better tools to deal with this as well than a rotation does, for sure. And Ouroboros, of course, the yeah, unnerf is, is justified because nobody plays Ouroboros in Unlimited, so. Maybe it'll be see play. Actually, I'm still kind of skeptical that Aurora is going to see play anyway with this unnerf, but definitely better than leaving it in its nerf state. Uh, with Noah getting unnerfed as it rotates out, because these two cards are from Chronogenesis, I think that's the right decision. What interests me is Deus Ex Machina getting buffed as it rotates out makes it supremely good. And of course, the unrestriction of Aria is going to make Roach, uh, I think, a lot better. And yeah, same with Grimory and Shadowcraft. So, uh, a lot of changes to Unlimited. 
seems uh, like. Not really any changes to rotation, which I guess I understand because Steel Rebellion is coming out. Um, but I do really like the fact that they are taking care of the unlimited environment and uh, actively making changes for unlimited to be a little bit more diverse. Really love that. So let's talk about the Abyss Summoner change, which doesn't really fall into uh, an unlimited or even really a rotation change. This is definitely more geared towards take two. Let's take a look at their reasoning here. Uh, we've gone over early match data. Rotation players are going first, had a win rate of 51.3%, down from February. And unlimited ha is down from February as well, slightly. Uh, usage rate for Worldcraft is lower. Yep, for sure. So cards are strengthened here. Lots of cards are unnerfed and uh, unrestricted now. Take a look at cards that were modified while they were in rotation. Yeah, so basically just just restoring a bunch of cards to make uh, the power levels of these these decks a little higher in Unlimited, so that they can compete with the top dogs of Unlimited. Definitely can get behind that. And here it is. Early March match data of all players playing Take Two and found that the win rate for Runecraft stood out at 59%, especially when compared with other classes. 59! Holy smokes, I didn't even know it was that bad. Wow! Especially when compared to the class. Yeah, no kidding. Of the numerous bronze and silver cards that contributed to this win rate, we found that Abyss Summoner's contribution rate was especially high. That makes sense. Uh, everyone knows that Abyss Summoner is one of the most bonkers cards in Take 2, because in Take 2 you only have a 30 card deck, so you only need to draw 10 cards to get Abyss Summoner's effect off. Uh, and that ends up being really, really nutty. So I'm glad that that's getting nerfed. I didn't realize that that was that much of a problem. I guess I should play Take 2 more. <laughs> and Take 2, 48% win rate uh, going first, because in Take 2 generally the value of going second is better. Yeah, wow, lots of, lots of changes. Uh, again, mostly for Unlimited, one for Take 2, but I'm glad that that's happening. And finally, after that, we also have, uh, just announced really, a Princess Connect Redive tie-in event. So look forward to that if you're a fan of Princess Connect. I don't really know anything about it, but uh, you know, I'll take more leaders and more promotional cards for sure. I ain't gonna complain. Pecorin for Swordcraft, Kokoro for Forestcraft, and Carol for Runecrafts. Three new leaders here. Leaders on sale, emblems, flares, sleeves. Purchase a leader pack and get special sleeves of the Gourmet Guild. No idea what that means, but it's pretty cutesy. Special daily bonus, play the game for 10 days during the event period. Get a special Princess Connect Redive emblem sleeves and Steel, Rebe Steel Rebellion card pack tickets. And there's the, uh, the docket for the rewards. And really nice alternate art here. Well, there you go. That is the big balance update for March 27. Lots of things happening. Even outside the fact that, you know, the expansion is freaking coming out. So, I am hyped. Again, Familia Guild, join that uh, once I make it. And I'm going to make it as soon as the update comes out, I bet. Uh, event, lots of changes. That's it for this video. Let me know what you think of any of the update uh, news here. Guild mode, uh, card changes, Princess Connect tie-in. Love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. I do read comments. Oh, P.S. I've been getting a lot of comments about Custom Card Weekly. I just wanted you to know that the reason that it's been so delayed was that I thought that the Shadow Cards website was going to go down. Like, they had a timer saying, oh, this website isn't going to be operational after this date. And I thought, like, oh, man, I don't really want to make a Custom Card Weekly and then have it so that nobody can create cards. So I was, you know, looking for alternatives, and people in my Discord server uh, developed a custom card program as well, which is really super cool. And I thought, okay, I'll test that out, and I'll wait on Custom Card Weekly uh, until, you know, we get that sorted. But it turns out ShadowCards.net is actually, it's actually still fine. Uh, so I don't know what the scare was about. I don't know why they had that timer saying that uh, the, the website was going to shut down. It's still up. It's still there. Uh, like the video if you did, don't if you didn't, subscribe for more Shadowverse content in the very near future, and of course, thank you to my wonderful patrons, patreon.com slash if you'd like to support 
the channel as well. I would highly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.